I had a mammogram in New Hampshire and it was suspicious. She called me, I was in my office, and she said, are you sitting down? And I said, yes. And she said, you have breast cancer. I immediately got on the phone and got in touch with one of the admins for Dr. Michelle Speck. So I've been at Mass General now for 18 years, and it's remarkable what we've seen in those years. I think being an oncologist is probably one of the most rewarding careers. It really gives you the opportunity to connect with a patient. You become, in a sense, their vision of hope to get them through that moment. When we think about treating breast cancer, it's multimodality, right? There's surgery, there's radiation, there's chemo, there's hormonal therapy, and all of those things work, but they probably wouldn't work if they were on their own. Clinical trials are the only way we move forward. We actually view trials as an integral part of taking care of the patient. We really are trying to encourage patients to think about trials not as something when there's nothing else, but actually as a very positive opportunity to get access to something that has a chance to be really beneficial to them. The purpose of the clinical trial is to test out medicines for possible future drugs. Research and also clinically speaking, I've been interested in understanding how we can use the patient's immune system to prevent cancer. Obviously surgery is something that is required, it makes sense, you want to remove the tumor, but there could be other more advanced fascinating therapeutics that you can complement to surgery to ensure that nothing will come back after that tumor is removed. When I was in graduate school, I discovered that there is a cytokine, so this is an immune factor that is made by epithelial cells. If you induce this immune factor, you actually prevent skin cancer from developing. Then we got interested to understand, does the same immune factor, if it's induced in other contexts, would have any effect on other organs? And we were particularly interested in breast because of the urgent need for prevention in that disease. We took this leap to say, okay, can this cytokine or this immune factor, when topically induced by this medication on the skin, reach the breast of the patient and, and result in the same immune processes to become activated and hopefully we can then see the outcomes we are seeing in our experimental models. This trial was a very straightforward, low-intensity <laughs> intervention. They used the cream twice a day, morning and night, and they fill out the diary of how many applications they did. Did they see any skin reactions? This is actually already on, on, being used around the world for skin cancer prevention. This trial, which was supported by ESCO, really allowed us to awaken or train the person's immune system to come and help them for prevention. That's really the first time that has been tried there is a huge need for this, for prevention. I worry about my daughters, but I hope that's why I'm doing the clinical trials. Hopefully they won't get breast cancer, but maybe someday they will, and these trials will help them. The trial that we worked on actually was run by a dermatologist who's an immunologist collaborating with a breast cancer surgeon and a breast medical oncologist. That's the kind of collaboration that can happen when you have a world-class institution with amazing research and amazing people across the breadth of medicine. So I think this is a fabulous example of how Mass General is just an incredible place with really brilliant folks. It's been great because all the care is right in the same place. I don't have to go to a different spot. Because I've been coming here every single month for the past six years, I know the people by first name. They know me by first name. So it doesn't feel like I'm in this giant hospital in this big city in Massachusetts and I'm just a number. I don't feel that way at all. I feel like I'm a person. ESCO support was an example of the kind of philanthropic support that really can help fund something that otherwise might not ever get done. One can envision in high-risk patients in the future, using a cream like this might help reduce the chance of a patient ever getting breast cancer. With the clinical trials, I think the one major thing that it does is it gives you hope. It gives you hope for the future.